In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Salesforce Service Cloud for sales. So in this Salesforce Service Cloud tutorial, where we'll dive into how to use Salesforce Service Cloud to enhance customer service and support within your sales operation. Salesforce Service Cloud is one of the most powerful tools in the Salesforce ecosystem designed to help you manage customer support, handle cases efficiently, and improve customer satisfaction. So let's explore how you can use it to streamline your sales and service efforts. So before moving on to the tutorial, let's first know what is Salesforce Service Cloud. So Salesforce Service Cloud is a customer relationship management platform focused on support, customer service, and help desk functionalities. Built on the Salesforce platform, it allows businesses to manage customer interactions from various channels like email, chat, phone, and social media, all within one platform. It provides tools for case tracking, knowledge management, automation, and more, making it essential for businesses aiming to deliver fast and personalized customer service. So now let's move on our Salesforce CRM dashboard. So this would be how your CRM dashboard will look like. So from the home page right here in the top left, when you click right there, this is what you should see first. So as you can see, I have a fresh account. That's why Salesforce is asking me to create my first contact, forward my support emails, and find tutorials and support. So from your home screen, you will see this performance charts and tables. So as you can see, I can see here my open cases, my cases, all new cases by priority, the average handling time, the opportunities, and of course, you can replace a card. So simply click on the action menu and change the home card. So here, as you can see, change home card. And you can select what home card you want to see right here on your home page. So let's say you want to see your leads. I'm going to select leads and click on change home card. So as you can see, I have changed the first home card right here. You want to view all your cards you can simply click right here on view all cards so as you can see right here this is it now let's move on to contacts from here you will see all of the contacts that you have added or basically all of your contacts so if you don't have a contact yet you can either import your contact right here so you can import from a CSV file, or you can sync your Google email and Microsoft email. So when you sync your Google or Microsoft, all of your contacts from there will be added right here on your CRM. Also, you can add a contact manually by clicking right here on add contact or clicking on new right here in the top right. So from here, you simply fill up all of this information and click on save. You can also add contacts to your campaign. You can also send list email, also add to cadence and all that stuff. Now let's move to accounts. So from here, you will see all your accounts. So accounts show where your contacts work. So improve your reporting and deal tracking with accounts. So from here again, you can simply add new accounts manually. So you need to simply need to fill up all of this information and click on save. You can also import again by importing use or uploading accounts using a CSV file. So you need to have the uh, right format for the CSV file and simply upload it right here. You can also assign labels to those accounts. And click on assign label or if you already have accounts right here simply check the account select the account and click assign label now let's move on sales so in sales from here you'll see a bunch of different tabs in the top such as your leads your contacts account 
opportunities. Here you can add opportunities. You can also see products. Here you can create your products, which you can select either goods or service. You can also click here on price books. So this is just a sample price book. So if you can add, you want to add a new price book, just simply add right here. Edit, uh, fill up all of this information and click on save. And of course, you have your calendar right here. You can double click on any area right here to add an event. So let's say you want to add an event on Saturday, 1 a.m. or let's say 12 p.m. Just double click right here. And as you can see, you can add the subject, description, and you can still edit the start uh, date and time right here and end date and time right here. Now you can add people, which are the attendees for this event. You can also add related records and additional information. And when you're done, simply click on save. So this is how the calendar works, just like the normal uh, Google Calendar or Microsoft Calendar. And we have the analytics right here. So for analytics, you just see a bunch of different reports right here. You can search for reports, dashboards, and more. You can also browse, and you can also add uh, reports and dashboards to your favorites. And now we have this service uh, feature. So if, uh, this is the service cloud. Here you will see cases. So you can track your customer support in one place, which is right here in the service section. So if you have cases, if you have a customer case, you will see it right here. You can also see, again, contacts right here in accounts. You can have a quick text. You can add quick text right here. So if you add quick text, uh, you can automatically send those quick texts to customers that has uh, cases. We also have analytics right here to see the performance of your customer service uh, performance. And again, knowledge right here. So this is just like uh, online articles. As you can see, you can add articles right here, solve issues faster with knowledge. So you can find or create articles with answer to uh, frequent quest questions, service procedures, how to, facts, and more. You can give people the information they need across channels. And next is marketing. So from here, you can go to your marketing home. So you just see uh, performance tables right here again, campaigns, contacts, leads, segments, the content of your uh, marketing. So in the content, you can add, let's say, uh, emails or newsletters, so you can create all of them right here in the marketing section. And next is commerce. So this is all of the features of Salesforce, but the main uh, uh, topic for this tutorial is this service feature. So that's basically the service feature is again what I said, uh, a customer uh, support uh, platform. Uh, Basically, this Salesforce is a CRM with all of these features with the service cloud feature. So that's basically it. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.